what they do right now is that they survey people they know for sure that they are innocent and that's not okay the size of what happens was so big that i thought okay that's bigger than i could ever ever imagine what it is at the end we talk about privacy our own privacy about our personal human rights they don't attack a society, they attack every single one of us as a human being, as an individual. So I think it is really time to wake up. Privacy is not negotiable. It is a basic human right. I, I, I think a lot of you thought like, yeah, I knew that forever. Do not let anybody tell you that we already knew that is simply not true. We did not know. We thought maybe they do it. Maybe, yeah, really they are behind something. But this size is so incredibly high, is so incredibly big that we did not know. People didn't even think one second about what this means. I have nothing to hide. I, I, I mean, tell me that you don't have anything to hide. I would never share a private secret with you because you don't can't you can't keep secrets. That's the first thing. And the th second thing is, here we talk basically about privacy and what privacy is about. I mean, every chat online is for me just you know a digital extension of a personal talk face to face with people. Every email I write is just a digital extension of a letter I write in, 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 in the real world. And uh, if private conversations between lovers, friends, family members are surveyed by a state agency, that means that they take, us a, take away the basic human right to be an individual we will start to act like they want us to act if they continue with that. Finally, I got angry and that's very healthy because outrage has no point, simply outrage, but anger has a direction. And I am really angry about secret, a secret, a big, big, big secret service machinery that violates the constitutional state by telling us that they want to protect the constitutional state. That's weird and it makes me angry. Or I, had, um, I promised my, my, my PR here that I don't say the F word, because I usually do. But, but really, I have a fucking right to live in a fucking constitutional state with a fucking respected constitution. That's what I want and that's what I expect from my governments that they do that. We don't live in surveillance states. We live in a surveillance world. And this surveillance world is called the internet. And the problem is that these big internet service providers make our life easier every single day. I don't doubt that it's cool to search on Google. It's cool to use an Android phone and stuff like that. But we pay a high price for it. And we pay the price of total mass surveillance. And we have to build alternatives. And I'm very proud that my small company, CyberGhost VPN, started to do something like that. We built an alternative and we made a business out of it. Um, we are paranoid and we know that there's no 100% security. We know about all these discussions. What we try at CyberGhost is we try to make a business out of it. We try to find ways to technically implement what we promise and we try to deliver. We make technology simple and accessible. We don't keep logs, we don't uh, follow any data retention. We have an easy philosophy. Our system is secure because we don't store data. We are privacy as a service. We made a business out of it. Our premium service is not co-financed by advertising. The only money stream we have is the, the, the income from our users. Our users pay us. If we screw it up, we lose our basics of our business model. We are simple service providers. And we always deal with what is if these services used by criminals. And I'm a bit sick about you know, talking about that. What we do is we don't run a service to protect criminals. We protect people's privacy with a service that is important for people in times of total uncertainty.
That's what we do. The, 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 the official thinking right now that we all, always think, how can we use technology to find bad guys? I'm just thinking about how can I use technology to protect the good guys? You know, that's what I'm thinking about.